Hey guys, it's Ping from Dito here. We're yet again doing another Get Good series. This time a little bit different. It is indeed the Sledge SMG 11 on attack. It is the Rain from Above Verticality Sledgehammer Destroying character. So I'm on Coastline, uh, which is a great map for Sledge. I'll tell you why in just a second. But first of all, let's talk about the philosophy of why you want to pick Sledge. Sledge's only counterpart is really Buck, because Buck and Sledge share the job of verticality pretty much. So with Sledge, he excels at doing very play from above and down. He will hammer the floor. Whereas Buck exceeds at doing very play from below and up. Seeing as you can't throw the Sledge hammer upwards in the air, you can need Buck for that. On the other side, you have grenades. Frag grenades are something that's very limited to characters in this game right now. So Buck and Sledge are the most commonly picked for it. Some teams pick Finger, but again, on a much more rare occasion. So not only do you have a great gun, great verticality, but you also get those frag grenades as an extra utility gadget if you want to. And then of course, once you get into the map, once you have map control, what you'll see a lot of teams doing, and someone that's particularly good about this is actually Team Empire. So what they'll do is that they'll open up certain lines of sight. So imagine right now that we're attacking the kitchen bomb site. Right now the auto bomb site is on Penda, but it's not a big deal, don't have to use you. We're gonna open up the verticality for all the common spots that we see in players play. So behind the bomb, deep in freezer. Early on, we open up the ankle into bathroom default spot to make the drone hole. And our job as Sledge is actually to take out all those common spots and lines of sight so that we can eliminate where the defenders can play, force them back deep into the bomb site, or force them to move so that our fellow team is on attack and actually eliminate them as they're running out the map. So you typically want to have people on the kitchen window, on the stock door, to eliminate these positions so that I can flush them out. If there's a guy in main lobby, we can actually open the floor right above him as well, so the main lobby is completely visible from above. The only thing you gotta be wary of is that if the defenders have the pin outside open, what often will happen is that they'll go below it, they'll actually take aggressive deep angles into the penthouse itself, and that's the kind of challenge they'll fight. The next one is that the second you start doing verticality play, you start seeing C4s come flying up on the roof, you start seeing people contesting the verticality holes, and you'll see some people, the, uh, the very brave ones, they'll simply sprint past your holes if they're very like weak line of sight. So what you try and do typically is try and open up the angle so it's wider, so that you have more room for error. If you have a super short angle, people can easily sprint across. If you have a much wider field of view, you have way more room for that, so they can just sprint across and you can keep track of them. If they do sprint past your holes and you lose track of them, then you want to coordinate with your teammates where they could be because you've eliminated the most error angles. With the current holes that we have, they cannot play in freezer, they cannot play behind the kitchen bomb. The only place they can really play is close in the bathroom door, which is the holes we're going to be in right now. So with all these holes in place, we can safely assume and eliminate that they're not going to be playing in any of these areas, and that's when your team will start moving in and take advantage of this fact. And it'll start setting up a plant so that you can cover them vertically and there's no issues with bombs. And that's the best way to do vertical display on a map like Coastline. This same philosophy goes across all maps. You get the frag grenades, you get the sledgehammer, and most importantly, you can get the G2 skin. Remember guys, the Sledge Pilot Program skin is out now, and if you want to support us, if you want to rock the skin in-game, be sure to go into the Ubisoft store, pick it up right now, equip it on your favorite operator, Sledge, play him in ranked with great success, as we just spoke about the verticality, the frag grenades, the weapon, utilization, and most importantly, to get rid of those annoying castle mains in ranked. Thank you guys for the support so far, and thank you for watching.